Flower beetles are among some of the most common pantry pests that many people will deal with. Like many stored product pests, they can invade products from the food packing facility to the grocery store to then spread throughout a home's pantry. Large infestations of flower beetles can potentially cause hundreds of dollars in food damage, so in this video, we'll show you how to identify and treat flower beetles so your pantry can stay free of these pests. To shop for the products featured in this video and learn more about flower beetle control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods costing you time and money. Flower beetles are tiny, reddish-brown, oval-shaped insects that only grow to be about an eighth of an inch. You'll notice three distinct body segments, the head, thorax, and abdomen. On the abdomen, you'll see the beetle's elytra, or its protective wing coverings. There are two types of flower beetle, the red flower beetle and the confused flower beetle. While they may look nearly identical, these two insects are considered different species. To tell the two apart, you'll need a magnifying glass. The red flower beetle has a distinctly club-shaped antenna with three segments. The confused flower beetle's antenna have a more gradual club shape with four segments. Despite being different species, both insects can be treated the same, so it may not be necessary to pull out your magnifying glass. However, it is important to be able to identify you're dealing with flower beetles, as opposed to other stored product pests which may require different approaches to treatment. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. To confirm flower beetle activity, look in and around your pantry or where packaged foods are stored. You may see a few beetles wandering the shelves, but focus on finding the source of your infestation. Commonly infested foods include flour, grain, or cereal products, but they have also been known to infest dried fruits and vegetables, beans, and spices. Be sure to also check any drawers and shelving for cracks and crevices flower beetles can hide in. Take note of which foods are infested or where you've seen the pests, as you'll use this information to direct your treatment. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. Before starting your treatment, you need to clear out your pantry. Start by throwing out boxed and bagged foodstuffs. That sounds excessive, but if you've found at least one infested package, odds are there are flower beetles in your other packaged foods. Flower beetles invade through tiny gaps and holes in packaging. This allows them to spread throughout an entire pantry with ease. Once those foods are tossed, proceed to remove and set aside everything else. Next, vacuum all cracks and crevices in your pantry shelving. If your shelving is adjustable, clean out the peg holes with a toothpick and vacuum. Small pantry pests may be found in these tight spaces as they travel from place to place. Be sure to throw out the vacuum's bag or clean the canister when you're done. Wipe down the pantry shelves with water to clean up any food residue. Do not use any strong cleaners or bleach, as these will keep pests away from the pesticides you'll soon apply. Once you've cleared and cleaned your pantry, you'll need to use insecticides labeled to treat flower beetles like Pirate Aerosol and Flex 1010. Then, use traps like Pro Pest Pantry Moth and Beetle Traps to catch stragglers and monitor for further activity. Pirate is an insecticide aerosol that's often used as a flushing agent, and it's great to treat tight cracks and crevices where flower beetles or other pests may be hiding for a quick kill. This product is made with pyrethrins, a botanical insecticide, so it's safe to use in food storage areas, though you should still clear out your pantry and keep people and pets away from the area until the vapors have dispersed. Pirate is also labeled to treat many pests around the home, like cockroaches, spiders, wasps, bed bugs, and more, so it's a great tool to have on hand. To use Pirate as a crack and crevice treatment, just remove the white applicator, attach the provided red applicator, and make sure the straw is firmly affixed in the spout. Shake the can and spray along the lengths of any cracks and crevices in your pantry or where flower beetles could be hiding. When treating cracks and crevices, you just want to spray in quick bursts, usually about one second of spray per foot. Pyrid does not leave a residual, but it is an excellent contact spray with a powerful knockdown and quick kill. Next, apply Flex 1010. Flex 1010 is a liquid insecticide concentrate that's labeled to treat flower beetles and many other insects. Under regular conditions, Flex 1010 can have a residual of up to 30 days, which will ensure straggling pests and future infestations are kept under control. Flex 1010 is labeled to control many pests indoors and out, so you can also use it to protect your home from other potential pest infestations. We recommend you use a hand pump sprayer, since you'll be making an indoor application. We recommend you use a rate of 3.2 fluid ounces per gallon of water. If you're experiencing a heavy infestation of flower beetles, you may use 6.4 fluid ounces. To use a pump sprayer, open the sprayer, add half a gallon of water, and add your measured amount of Flex 1010. Then add the remaining half a gallon, close the sprayer, and shake to ensure an even distribution. Pump your sprayer a couple of times to produce a low pressure spray. Spray along the cracks and crevices in your pantry where you've seen flower beetle activity. 
With both products, you'll be able to kill any flower beetles you've spotted and protect your pantry against stragglers or future potential infestations. Be sure to only spray these products in an empty pantry and allow your treatments to dry before moving on to the next step or before you restock your shelves. Once your chemical applications have dried, set up pro-pest pantry moth and beetle traps in your pantry to lure and catch stragglers. These traps contain pheromones that attract many stored product pests, and you can set them on shelves or hang them to trap different crawling or flying insects. Simply peel off the wax paper, then fold the trap into a tent. Since we're catching beetles, just set these traps along the sides of shelves. One trap will cover an area of up to 300 square feet. Any beetles around will be drawn to the trap and will get stuck on the glue. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen. While Flex 1010's residual will protect your pantry for up to 30 days, employ these other tips to prevent infestations in the future. If you can, buy only about a week or two's worth of food at a time. Try not to overstock your pantry shelves, because the longer something sits there, the more susceptible it becomes to infestation. When buying dry foods at the grocery store, take a look at the packaging. If you can see the product, try to look for any flower beetles or other pests. If you see any holes, rips, tears, or other openings, that's an obvious indicator to pass that item up. And when storing food, it is best to keep it in tight-fitting or sealed containers. Put cereals, grains, and flour in containers that can be tightly air-sealed. This is especially true for dry pet food. Pet food and bird seed are often overlooked and extremely conducive for pantry pests, so it's important to store your pet food in a sealed container. By keeping food stored in sealed containers, you can stop infestations from spreading. If an infestation starts inside a sealed container, that means the food was already infested with eggs before it went in, and you can throw it out without risking the rest of your pantry. Finally, keep up with regular pesticide applications to ensure protection throughout the year. Continue to apply Flex 1010 every 30 days, and be sure to check traps regularly, replacing them every three months. Flower beetles are small, yet destructive pantry pests that can cost us hundreds in food damage, but there are ways to control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop flower beetles from infesting your home, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share, and if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.